Hello, and welcome to this overview of the Synet360 Auto XDR cybersecurity platform. Synet360 is the first security platform to converge all the prevention, detection, correlation, investigation, and response capabilities you need in order to keep your organization safe and secured into a single automated, quick to deploy, and easy to use platform. Let's look at the four core components of the Synet platform. Synet's protector natively delivers all the prevention, detection, and operational capabilities you need out of the box in a single easy-to-use platform for end-to-end -end protection across your environment. Synet's responder automates all required investigation and response actions across the environment to automatically investigate and eradicate all attack components across your environment. The Synet's Correlator provides SIM-like capabilities, including centralized log management and correlation of events into actionable incidents to quickly detect malicious presence across your environment. Synet's PsyOps team provide a world-class managed detection and response service. In this video, we will focus on the core components of the Synet offering one by one. In practice, all the components work seamlessly together. Let's start with Synet Protector. This is the Synet dashboard. The first thing you notice is that the dashboard provides full visibility into the entire environment. You can also see the four pillars of protection, files, users, hosts, and networks. The entire picture is brought together in a single pane of glass. Once Synet is deployed, we have complete visibility into the environment using multiple view options. In this view, we see multiple scan groups. For each group, we can assign different policies, different customizations, different whitelist rules, and different enforcement actions. Zooming in, we can see multiple colors. The green ones indicate real hosts that contain real files, such as this server 2016 under the domain controller. The orange ones refer to the deception hosts. Those are fake decoy hosts that don't actually exist in the environment. If a malicious attacker infiltrates the environment and scans the network, this is the picture they would see. So in this case, there's an 80% chance the attacker will choose a decoy host when trying to access the domain controller. We can adjust the decoy hosts along with the decoy users as well for when a malicious actor tries to move laterally using a different domain user. Moving on to the alert view, we see several different alert types as the platform monitors files, users, hosts, and network activities. One of the protection layers provided is next-gen antivirus. It protects the endpoints from malicious files that are dropped on the disk. For example, malicious files that are downloaded by the user will be immediately detected, such as this alert at the bottom. The antivirus controls and contains AI models that are running on the actual endpoints, learning the unique behavior of every single endpoint. Looking more closely at this alert, and for each alert, you'll be able to see the user, the host, and the actual file or process that was involved. On the right side, you can see the automated remediation that took place. But we know that AV is not enough. AV detects malicious files on a disk by taking the file signature and making a decision whether it's good or bad. But antivirus generally doesn't work well for fileless attacks. For example, PowerShell attacks such as this one. Scrolling down, you can see useful metadata for what actually happened. For this alert, two things happened. First, the alert was displayed in the console and an email is also sent. Second, PsyOps, Cynet's 24-7 MDR team also received the alert. For these types of high-risk alerts, PsyOps will send the client a confirmation, which could be in a console, email, or phone call, depending on the client's policy, saying, We have received this alert and auto-remediation was on. Do you need any assistance? In this particular case, the PsyOps team provided additional value by automatically reverse-engineering the binary in order to provide a better perspective of what might have happened due to the specific attack, even though it was blocked. As you can see in the first alert, the EDR detects anything that resides within the memory. For example, the EDR detects fileless attacks with living of land binaries, such as PowerShell or any other malicious binaries. Here's an example of how deception technology works with this alert. Deception network, which essentially lures attackers to expose their presence on the network and ultimately have their efforts blocked. Beyond the next-gen AV, EDR, and deception capabilities in Synet's Auto XDR, there is also the ability to detect network threats and user behavior anomalies. In this example, you can see the Network Alert Responder, which is a man-in-the-middle tool that sniffs the network traffic and steals password hashes in order to move laterally between the machines. Scrolling up, we can see some of the example alerts generated by user behavioral analysis. It might be unusual for a certain user to log in during the weekend. 
Maybe we detect a remote access connection that might be unusual for a certain user. SignUp Protector also includes SignUp SaaS and Cloud Security Posture Management that automatically prioritizes and fixes security risks across your SaaS and cloud applications. Once you connect any of your SaaS or cloud applications to SignUp, you'll see if SignUp identified any misconfigurations. In this environment, we see that one SaaS service is connected, which is the Office 365 application. Right away, we can see that SignUp identified a few misconfigurations that need attention. Here we see the risk categories identified and the number of misconfigurations within each of the categories. The three highlights the number of critical items that should be immediately addressed. We can also see statistics of misconfiguration issues over time over various time periods. You can look issues over the past 24 hours, past week, month, three months, or year. For example, we can see that over the past three months, 26 items were found. And looking to the graph on the right, we can see the breakdown of those 26 misconfigurations issues by level of severity. Scrolling down, we see the complete list of SAS misconfigurations detected. You can click on any one of them for more details. For each issue, you see the severity level, the SAS application affected, the risk category, the misconfiguration issue description, and compliance standards that are impacted by this issue. Right here, you see the current configuration setting for this particular item, along with what the setting should be to eliminate the risk caused by the current setting. Finally, you have two action buttons. The first button accepts the recommended configuration setting, and SignIt automatically goes under the hood to the SaaS application and fixes the configuration. You don't have to leave the SignIt console. Or, you can choose to ignore the recommended setting for whatever reason. For example, there may be a valid reason for that setting in your particular environment. Now let's look at the SignUp Responder that includes the response automation capabilities. SignUp fully automates the entire response workflow, reducing manual effort and ensuring important response details and actions are not overlooked. Let's explore some of the response actions you can take both automatically and manually with the SignUp Responder. Because the SciOps team is proactively monitoring your environment, you know nothing that is high risk will be overlooked. But if you want, you can also engage the SciOps team directly through the console. There are several remediation actions you can perform directly from the SignUp console, such as delete or quarantine a file, kill a process, disable or enable a user, shut down a machine, isolate a machine, take a machine off the network while maintaining the communication back to SignUp server, manipulate other services, schedule tasks, run commands, and run playbooks. The virus spread playbook, for example, would have multiple actions associated with it, such as kill the process, quarantine the file, isolate the machine, and maybe disable the user. We can create, customize, and fully automate each and every one of these playbooks. Let's go to the playbooks and let's look at the virus spread playbook. In this playbook, we've chosen to isolate host, USB block execute, and block SMB to disable the ability to jump between machines. There are many other operations that we can perform out of the box. A powerful capability within the SignUp Responder is SignUp's Incident Engine. The Incident Engine automatically takes response actions after specific high-risk alerts to fully investigate the impact of an attack across the entire environment, determine the root cause of the attack, and take all necessary actions to remediate the attack. Everything is pulled together in an intuitive graphical interface. Instead of chasing a barrage of alerts, the Incident Engine brings the entire response workflow in one logical view. Let's look at SignUp's Incident Engine in action. Looking first at alerts, we see the first alert is for a malicious process command, and we see that the infected file was wmic.exe. Many of us know that wmic.exe is a legitimate Microsoft Windows utility. Attackers use legitimate Windows tools because they are expected to be present in the environment. SignUp analyzes the behavior of this seemingly legitimate process and determined that this instance of wmic.exe is actually malicious and it attempted to execute malicious code, so we terminated the process. This in and of itself is extremely valuable. And you might think that terminating this malicious file execution solved the problem, but this really isn't the case. We don't know if the attack begins or ends with the malicious wmic.exe file, or if it's just a part of a larger scale operation. We don't know how the file was executed in the first place, and we don't know the root cause or the scope. Until we know the root cause and the scope, we can't know whether the threat was fully eliminated. This kind of investigation takes time, takes skills, and takes effort, which many companies simply don't have. Let's look at Synet's incident view for better approach. 
the incident view launches an automated investigation flow. When it has findings, it executes remediation actions. It asks a series of investigation questions. First, we ask if this process was able to execute any malicious files. Fortunately, we see that the answer is no. The process was terminated early enough. Then we ask how was this malicious command executed in the first place? And we have a very interesting answer. We discover it was actually executed by a scheduled task. Now, a scheduled task is a legitimate Windows utility which is very commonly used. So, security products normally won't trigger an alert when these tasks are created. Attackers know this as well. So many attacks are initiated by planting a scheduled task that may lay dormant for a while and then begin executing malicious files. In this case, it's the wmic.exe file. Here we saved a lot of time because we know immediately that this malicious process was executed by a scheduled task. And this is our first finding. The root cause is a scheduled task. We immediately take a remediation action and delete the task from the host. If we only relied on the prevention layer, that scheduled task may have continued to execute malicious files, maybe several different files, hoping that one wouldn't be detected. Here we got to the underlying root cause and deleted the scheduled task before this has a chance to happen. But it doesn't stop there. If I have this malicious task on one host, maybe it made its way to other hosts. We ask if the same task can be found on other hosts and we find that this scheduled task does exist on two additional machines. We automatically delete this scheduled task on these machines. Finally, we ask which was the first host to get infected, and see it was yiftac pc 4 And we also see that this machine communicated with the other infected host. It's important to note here that Synet is able to do this because the platform has visibility into network traffic. We determine that this host was the root cause that delivered the scheduled task to the other host. So this machine is automatically isolated before any more damage could be done. If we look at the top bar, we have a summary of everything that took place. There is a description. The impact of this incident is three hosts. We see the root cause and the remediation actions, and we see that no immediate action is required. Synet performed five automated investigation steps and four remediation actions. If you want to see a more detailed description of all the steps, you can do it through the timeline on the right side. In just a few minutes in the background, without you having to do anything, Synet conducted a complete investigation and remediation process. This is automated protection. It means, as a customer, you don't have to invest the time and effort required to fully investigate and resolve all aspects of a threat. The incident view, first and foremost, saved the considerable time and effort that would typically be required to fully investigate and remediate this incident across the organization. Second, it detected hidden threats that may have otherwise been overlooked, which is especially useful for organizations with limited cybersecurity expertise. And third, it automatically and quickly removed the threats before any damage could be done. With no configuration needed, Synet automatically completed the full investigation and remediation while you continued to work as usual. Next is the Synet Correlator. The Synet's correlator provides SIM-like capabilities, including centralized log management and correlation of events into actionable incidents to quickly detect malicious presence across your environment. Synet centralized log management automatically collects the highest priority log data that's needed to help you quickly and accurately uncover threats across your environment. You access the log management dashboard directly from the Synet console. Simply go to the forensic page and click on the tab. Now you can access log information from a number of data sources, not only the endpoints. Synet can ingest multiple firewall logs, including, for example, FortiGate and Palo Alto, as well as multiple SaaS application logs, such as Zoom, Office 365, and Azure Active Directory, and, of course, logs from your endpoints. Synet supports any system that can forward logs in a syslog format. The raw log data is kept in the Synet Cloud for you to leverage in a variety of ways, such as incident investigation, threat analysis, threat hunting, and more. Finally, let's look at Synet's 24-7 MDR service provided by our PSYOPs team of cybersecurity experts. PSYOPs proactively monitors our clients' environments around the clock to ensure nothing is overlooked. The PSYOPs team is always available to answer questions and provide guidance to our clients. As we showed earlier, you can engage the PSYOPs team directly through the console. The PSYOPs team often generates comprehensive reports in response to clients' questions. Let's explore an example report generated by the PSYOPs team. 
This report is called 13 Seconds to Attack. Sinead investigated blocked malicious activity, which turned out to be malware that could compromise a single machine in 13 seconds. This type of report includes an executive summary, a high-level description of what occurred and where the threat came from using non-technical language that you could share with your organization and C-level executives. Additionally, PSYOPs provides various types of analysis and reverse engineering along with a description of the processes they followed to investigate the attack. Scrolling down, one of the most important pieces of information is here in the conclusion section. Here are the registry trees that might be involved in a specific attack. Here are the scheduled tasks that were involved. PSYOPs might recommend remediating these scheduled tasks by searching for them in the console and then maybe automating the process of deleting the tasks through the console. PSYOPs also shares a SHA-256 of the files that might have been dropped on a disk. Maybe we'll perform some threat hunting and find those files. And here are the domains that were communicated with. We can see if these domains are being accessed by other machines by doing a query across the organization and implementing a block through the console. What's shown here are the most important and time-consuming actions needed. The time and expertise required to investigate and remediate threats goes away as this service is automatically provided to all Sinet clients. I hope you enjoyed this Sinet 360 Auto XDR platform overview. If you would like to learn more about Synet Auto XDR platform or schedule a full one-on-one -on -one demo, please visit us at synet.com.